Do you know where your computer connects to? What happened to your data last week? Why is your internet connection so slow now? Crystal clear answers for all of these using Glassfire. Continue watching and welcome to Hack Explorer. In this review, we'll be talking about the free versions of this tool. So you have Glassfire Windows download and a mobile application download available for Android. Both softwares does the same thing, but we are looking at Windows installation. The installation is straight straightforward. Uh, you can just download, run the wizard and it will get installed. So let's jump into the Glassfire interface. So when you first bump into the Glassfire interface, you will see a real-time graph showing the current network activity. This shows what's happening and which application is asking for data. If I open my browser and just go to uh, okay, youtube.com, just run some, okay, we'll see a short film over here. And you can see there's a peak, okay, there's one MB of activity, now who's causing this? So you can pause the network graph and just click on this. So yellow color, it's a download 1.7 MB. Okay, who did this? So it's Google Chrome, 1.7 MB download, right? So go back past three hours, okay? Uh, so it will be the same again, here you can see the Chrome has done the most of the downloading at that time. And past 24 hours, okay there's a peak over here i have 70 mb of activity and the past week now this is where it gets really interesting i have 5 gb of bandwidth activity over here so uh, you can see there's high amount of download activity uh, let's see what caused this activity click on this peak and we can see that the node.js has downloaded 3 gb of data and uploaded 570 megabytes Okay, that's another thing. Instead of popcorn time desktop.exe, 457 megabytes of download. Google Chrome, okay, so these two are the prominent applications. So, what is this? So, popcorn time is kind of a torrent application which downloads movies and it created a peak. It was able to connect and download. You can see these small uh, numbers like this. These are alerts. So, before this peak started, I can see there are four alerts. You can see I have a uh, setup uninstall. Now this icon, if you can see, it is very similar to Popcorn Time. Okay, and okay, I have installed Popcorn Time, and it has made the first connection. And with that, we can see Node.js is starting. So it's a script that is doing the uh, torrent uh, part of this particular software. Okay, so it has started this activity, and we can see another update processes uh, have run. So where is this? Uh, I can search this. Uh, so Glassfire host info. Hmm. Okay. So United States cloud flag. Hopefully there's no flags or anything for this site. Anyway, now you can see clearly there is some activity after the program installation. So we saw application that was downloaded and it has created a lot of bandwidth activity. You will be able to easily identify what applications are eating up your bandwidth and you can uninstall them or take actions on them. So similar for this you can you have some more views you can go to the app view and you can see uh, the most of the downloads in the past week you remember this time according to time these graph change so I, I, if I'm interested in the past week so most of the download you can see uh, is done by Google Chrome and you can see here the time so each and every application on which time it was active so Google Chrome you can see throughout the time it has been up and down this one only once and remember this is a great tool for finding what applications are used at which time okay so remote desktop connections when did I use them okay when did I install uh, Visual Studio somewhere around here right February 11th at 3 p.m. right when does my uh, virus guard take updates from you can see it's a clear cycle so first update was at February 7th February 7th 3 p.m. 8 3 p.m. 9 3 p.m. right so you can see the pattern over here right so it's very easy to identify which apps used what type of data right uh, and also 
uh, you can see the traffic type so I have uh, communicated a lot of with the uh, hypertext transfer protocol okay so there are many alerts also right uh, I have installed Visual Studio here and okay now this is something that I am interested in which what what was this right so return activity was done by definitely the popcorn time so it's not a safe software but I will be a little bit careful when I'm using it because it has a lot of connections uh, for example if I go to BitTorrent activity for 3 megabytes right so these are the clients that it connected with so we don't know who these clients are maybe these are the users but we just don't know what files and what type of data we are communicating with them next let's go to the usage tab usage tab actually shows you an overview of bandwidth usage so last month my usage was about 20.2 GB out of that you can see Google Chrome has done the highest download and my current download is shown here and I have, uh, my system has used about 1.8 GB this could be Windows updates but I still don't know I can further investigate this and if you want to see which servers it has connected to oh, 999 servers so most of the IPs that I'm seeing here are very familiar so you can see US servers and these 52 IPs are mostly Microsoft so I can guess these are Windows updates yes. so if you want to see which application connected is host so okay this cloud most I am using another uh, browser called Puffin so it is using a cloud based server let's see which application connected over here okay should be something to do with microsoft skype google chrome and again you can get the ip information from here and the traffic uh, so here you can see both in external and local so this is your lan network activity and this is the internet activity right so you can get a app specific view again and a traffic specific view another uh, feature that was in there so this is not available on the free version if we see an application that is not supposed to go to the internet in the paid version you can go to the firewall right I'm not using hipchat anymore but hipchat is installed so I could the paid version block this app but remember we have to upgrade this one so earlier this was available but unfortunately it's not there now okay another cool feature that you can use over here is if you believe there's uh, application that is running and it is malicious send a copy of the application to virus total and see if it is malicious or not so if you are not sure about this node.js uh, go to uh, settings and enable go to virus total and you can see you can unlock this this actually requires administered access to unlock this feature so enable and automatically analyze you if it's a very secure machine you can enable this so if it detects a new file it will first upload it to a virus total and check with all the virus cards available and gives you a alert if there's it is malicious just click on the application click on virus total so 0 out of 67 virus guard uh, is telling me this particular application is safe so that was about the Windows version of Glasswire. So there are many more features that you can explore. Of course, you have to pay to get more features, but the free version offers a lot of features that are important. And you can also try this if you have Android phone. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.